All of our students start the day with family literacy and you're able to see students and families interact with literacy activities. Um, a child might be reading with their friend's dad or playing a game, a literacy based game with another friend. Uh, for our kindergarten through second grade students, their day then goes into morning meeting and it's really a time for them to start the day as a community. They greet each other. Um, and go through different activities to build culture and community. And from that moment on, it really becomes uh, an individualized program for each child. After morning meeting, uh, students have highly individualized program, and I'll take you through uh, a typical second grader's day. So after morning meeting, they would go into an 80-minute math block, and during math, they are going through a rotational model. So they have a small group lesson with their teacher. Uh, they have a blended learning uh, rotation in which they're either on ST math or they're going through different applications on an iPad that have been identified by their teacher to do spiral review. Uh, and the last rotation is doing independent practice. After math, they would go into a 20 minute recess and then come back for an art lesson. Depending on the day of the week, they're either going to art or going to science. Uh, science is given in Spanish for all of our students K through three. After that, uh, you would see students go into uh, their phonics block. And we would call it a phonics block, but it's really an, another 80-minute block in which students are getting phonics, guided reading, doing independent reading, and another uh, rotation, in a rotational model as well. Technology is integrated uh, through Achieve 3000 um, to make sure that our students are being able to read high-interest nonfiction texts and also be assessed on it at their Lexile level. After the phonics block, students would go into a reader's workshop block. And during reader's workshop, students have independent book boxes uh, with books at their level in which they're, they're reading the books, being assessed on them at Accelerated Reader, and te the teacher is being able to pull students to do one-on-one -on -one reading conferences. Uh, then they would go into a 40-minute lunch block, uh, and they get to eat have recess, enjoy their time with their friends uh, before they come back uh, and do a values circle. So during the values circle, it's another way of hitting this character development piece. After values circle, our second graders would have an ethnic studies class. Uh, ethnic studies is really focused in second grade at self-identity, learning about what it, what it means to be a student of color in the context of Los Angeles. Uh, after ethnic studies, they would do a writing cafe in which it's followed like a writer's workshop model. Uh, t the teacher gives a mini lesson and students are able to write uh, for about a 30 minute sustained writing block and the teacher is pulling kids to do either small group or one-on-one -on -one conferences. The student might have at that point a read aloud and reading comprehension. Uh, and at the end of the day, they close out with a values review. I just love the thoughtfulness with which Kip has made so many decisions in their schedule and it's, it's even hard to understand until you're in the building with them, but they're thinking about where students should go for what kind of lesson, what the ideal grouping is for each learning activity, where students can show mastery, where we need to do review. And it, it just shows the masterminding happening behind the scenes where they're creating a new vision of school rather than accepting it will always be the way it's always been. Here's the more detailed KIPP LA schedule to give you a sense of how students spend their time at school. Consider the choices that the school is making and the potential trade-offs they're considering around the use of time. 